Hi there and welcome into the Cougar Sports Network as we get ready for some baseball here on a rainy Thursday in Santa Clarita. We hope it will uh, clear up a bit here for us as we get ready for LA Mission College and College of the Canyons here on a Thursday at Mike Gillespie Field here in Santa Clarita. Glad to have you along with us on the Cougar Sports Network. I'm Matt Robinson. Hope you uh, enjoy this one. We hope we get it in, to be quite honest, as it's been kind of uh, on and off like showers we've been waiting for. We finally just got some about three minutes ago, right before the game uh, really is supposed to get underway. So we'll see how we do here, if we can get it all in today. As College of the Canyons right now comes in trying to pick up back-to-back -back wins over LA Mission College as they won on Tuesday, a 6-0 shutout victory for the Cougars who are 13-15 on the year, 5-5 five five in WSC South play. Just a couple of games back at Glendale for second. LA Valley starting to run away with it at 9-1. For LA Mission, the Eagles are 11-18 on the year. They'll send Barry Men Havar, Jose Mariano, and Jake Callahan to start things off against Oscar Patron. Getting the start today for COC, two and four in 47 innings. He's given up 61 hits, 39 runs, 36 of them earned. Walked 22, struck out 45 with a 689 ERA. And opposing hitters hitting 314 against him. Quick shout out to the career exploration camp. We here is watching from up in one of the classrooms here at College of the Canyons. Uh, middle schoolers hanging out, watching us. We appreciate you joining along as we are underway here, COC. And Mission College, top of the first, is the first pitch to Menhivar missed down. Menhivar, the right-handed hitting leadoff hitter, playing second base today, takes a called strike. Hitting 320 with no home runs and 10 runs batted in this season for LA Mission. For the Eagles this year, it's been a struggle offensively. 278 offensive average as a unit this year. They've scored 203 runs. Those are both right about middle of the pack. Chance to try and Find some offense here on a rainy Thursday afternoon in Santa Clarita. First pitch was a few minutes late, about 2.32 in the afternoon. From a scheduled start of 2.30 as Patron's 2-1 pitch to Menhivar hit on the ground. Up the middle, fielded by Allman, and he'll fire to first for the first out of the ball game. So men have are retired on a ground ball up the middle that Allman scoops up. For College of the Canyons defensively, Schwartz at first, Roke at second, Allman at short, Cheryl the third baseman, Haquez in left, Isang in center, and Story in right with Cervantes behind the dish. As this one hit on the ground sharply right at Allman, and he'll pick it up on one hop and fire as Mariano, who's the state leader in home runs, Grounds out on the very first pitch he faces and two quick outs here in the first inning for Oscar Patron, both ground balls to shortstop. Here's Jake Callahan, 304, 120, one home run, 26 RBIs this year. The rest of the lineup for Mission after the top three of Menhivar, Mariano, and Callahan. And then it's Granados in the four spot, Mendoza in the five spot, Kaufnauer, the right fielder, batting sixth, Broche, the third baseman in the seven spot, Sija, the DH, and then Noah Nichols the center fielder batting ninth. Callahan, as we said, 304, one home run, 26 runs batted in. The middle of the order for mission this year, Mariano and Callahan have been dangerous at driving in runs. Mariano has done it a lot through the long ball. Callahan's just benefited off of having runners in front of him and being able to drive them home as he lifts that one out into right field for a base hit, a little scoop from the lefty that gets down. And a two-out base runner here as Patron yields his first hit of the ball game as Callahan keeps his average up over 300 for now with a single out to right field. And here's Isaiah Granados, 286 with a home run and nine runs batted in this season, the catcher batting in the cleanup spot. Out there with no gloves on his hands here in the cold and rainy weather today. So that pitch misses.
Two balls and no strikes here to Granados. Is that pitch down in the dirt? Good job by Cervantes to keep it in front. And it holds the base runner over at first base. Good work by Cervantes that time. Just keeping that ball locked in front of him. Three balls and no strikes here. For Patron, we've seen flashes of very, very solid pitching. It's that one in for a strike as a ball from the mission bullpen comes rolling across home plate right afterwards. As we sent for Patron, we've seen flashes of very solid pitching, but his last two, he's gone less than seven innings in both. Went six against Bakersfield, and then just an inning and a th or three innings and a third against the top team in the conference in LA Valley College as he issues his first walk of the ball game to Granados. And it brings us to Tommy Mendoza, the left fielder. Batting 254 on the year with a home run and 13 runs batted in. So Mendoza stands and waits. A breaking ball from Patron misses away. So after a solid start to the game with two ground balls to short, Patron has lost the zone a bit. Five of his last six have missed the zone. The lefty pitching off the third base side of the rubber. A couple of checks back to second base and then another one down in the dirt and he's behind in the count 2-0 and oh here. So Mendoza stands and waits. Patron taking his time here as he slowed things down. The 2-0 in for a called strike. Makes it two and one. For Patron, like we said, actually went six against LA Valley, went three and a third against East LA. Sorry, I had my numbers backwards. Actually pitched a complete game against Bakersfield on the 12th. Gave up just three hits, one run. Walked two and struck out 10 in that ball game. His best ball game of the year. So like we said, we've seen flashes of the pitcher Oscar Patron can be. It's just a couple of times this year he's had some rough outings. Had a rough one against Saddleback, went three innings. Rough against Santa Ana, went two. Rough against Cypress, went two. two and three and two-thirds against Citrus. So he definitely has the stuff to be effective, but at times has lost that stuff a little bit. Now he's in danger of walking the bases. Loaded a 3-2 count here against Mendoza. You want to attack the bottom of the order here if you're Patron as Mendoza hitting 254, then Kopnauer, Broche, Sija all batting under 200 on the season. So certainly areas to attack, but you don't want to give them any chance. And he comes with a breaking ball, and he sets Men down Mendoza looking on strikes, his first strike out of the ball game after his first walk of the ball game. No runs, a hit, two left on. No errors in the inning for COC. Half inning in the books. College of the Canyons. Coming up. Uh, COC lineup will look like this. Angela Allman will lead things off. Then Charlie Roca, the second baseman, hitting in the two spot. Jake Schwartz will bat third followed by Jaden Steinhurst, the DH. Evan Jaquez playing left field and batting in the five spot. Dominic Cervantes, the catcher, batting sixth. Hudson Story in the seven spot. Then Andrew Sherrill in the eight spot and playing third base today. And Hunter Asang will bat ninth for COC and play center field. They'll face Alonzo Munoz. 0-2 on the year, just 17 and two-thirds innings pitched for Munoz this season. He's given up 22 hits, 20 runs, 19 of those earned with eight strike, eight walks and 12 strikeouts, an ERA of 986 as opposing hitters hitting 310 against him this year. And 
He is on. Two to say these two teams went out at El, El Carrizo Park. COC came away a 6 nothing win. It was a dazzling performance from starters for the starter for COC in Joseph Yasso, who went the complete game, gave up six hits, no runs, a, a six-hit shutout in the ballgame, struck out 11, walked just one as he was able to lock down the mission offense throughout the ball game for mission. They actually had Nahar, Stower, and Arceo all go, along with Ben Curiel, so they went through four of their guys, and maybe that's why we see Munoz, who's 0-2 on the year and has not had a lot of innings, get a chance to start here today. Defensively for LA Mission College, Mariano at first, Menhivar at second, Callahan the shortstop, Broche at third, Mendoza and left, Nichols in center, Kopnauer in right with Granados behind the dish. As we are just about ready to get underway here in the home half of the first inning as the dark clouds have moved in once again overhead. A little bit of sunshine peeking through. But some menacing looking clouds out in the distance here. So Andrew Allman will lead things off, batting 278 on the year with two home runs and two seven RBIs. He's been pressed into that leadoff role with Colin Yeaman out for the season. Yeaman up here in a sling has been dealing with some shoulder problems and will not be seen for the rest of the year and that's unfortunate. That's a huge loss for College of the Canyons as Yeaman, one of the state leaders in offense this year. Colin this year 443 before the injury with 20 or seven home runs which is top 25 in the state. He's sixth in batting average, but will not have his services for the rest of the year. So Allman trying to clean things up and has done a good job at shortstop since taking over for Yeaman. And has started to find his way in that leadoff spot as he takes a called strike, makes it two and one. Allman on Tuesday had a hit in just two at-bats. Canyons only got around the lineup a couple of times. For Angelo, he's traded hits with no-hit games over his last four. Trying to start a little hitting streak uh, through the early middle portion of the year. Had a nice little nine-game hitting streak, but he's down on strikes with the completion from Granados to Mariano at first for the first out here of the home half of the first inning. One away for Charlie Roca as Munoz has his first strike out of the ball game. Roca, 2-10 hitter with three home runs and 13 RBI this season. Has been in the two spot for most of the year. Hits this one into straightaway center field. Charging at first was Nichols, but then backing up to make the catch. So two quick outs here in the home half of the first inning, much like in the top half of the first inning. And Jake Schwartz coming to the plate for COC. Batting 292 on the year with five home runs and 23 runs batted in. Trying to get a two out base runner for the Cougars here in the first. Takes that pitch down to the dirt. Schwartz has started 27, or now 28 of 29 games this year. Leads the team in at bats with 106 before this one here, takes a called strike. 31 hits is tied for second on the team. Jaden Steinhurst leading the team. He's in the, in the on deck circle waiting to come up with 33. And Schwartz just kind of guy that plugs away each and every game for College of the Canyons and Chris Cota, the head coach for COC. Been a big part of the roster over the last two years. Works as the closer 
as well at times as he fouls this one up the right side. Got a two-ball, two-strike count here in the first. Two away. As Munoz trying to work a clean first inning here against the Cougars. That pitch misses up and in. So it pushes the count to full at three balls and two strikes with Schwartz at the dish. Sun trying to peek through a little bit of the clouds. After a quick five minutes of rain just before the start of the game as Schwartz hits this one in the air down the left field line. Trying to get over to it was Mendoza, but he won't get there to land out of play. Lots of foul territory. You can't even see it all here at Mike Gillespie Field as the third base side has a bunch of room out behind the dugout. You can kind of see the front of the third base dugout. The bullpens are actually shifted well behind that. And the same thing kind of on the first base side, not quite as pronounced, but there's a lot of room on balls that are in foul territory. Unfortunately, our camera just cannot get a wide enough angle to pick that up. So we do our best, to, and we honestly can't even see the bullpens very well from either side. The dugouts are actually in the way from up where we are. So we had another 3-2 pitch here to Schwartz. Men Munoz delivers, and Schwartz hits a ground ball up the middle for a base hit. And the Cougars with a two-out base runner here in the first inning. And Schwartz keeps the inning going. Little ground ball single through the middle. And the bottom half of the first mimicking the top half of the first. And the cleanup hitter Jaden Schwartz will come, or Jaden Steinhurst will come to the plate. Steinhurst, 337 on the year, five home runs, 20 RBI. Cougars don't do a lot of running, so I wouldn't expect Schwartz to be in motion at all. It's not really part of the game plan for College of the Canyons this season. You look for COC, just 16 stolen bases on 24 attempts. Schwartz leads away from first. The righty Munoz stands on the rubber. Has an open stance as he gets ready to deliver to Steinhurst. Comes with a 1-0 that Steinhurst fouls away and makes it 1-1. It's an interesting stance by Alonzo Munoz. Not one that maybe we're used to seeing, I would say. Almost like a hitter with that open stance and then comes across his body. Is that one fouled away? Got it in on the hands on Steinhurst. That kind of forces Munoz to go with a little bit more of a slide step than a leg kick as he'll quickly move to first. But Schwartz dives back easily. down in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes to count. As we wait on the 2-2, two -two, that one misses Maybe just up, the umpire says, to make it a full count. Looked good. Granados even thought it was a strike. As he started to move towards the first base dugout, but instead gets called back. And we go 3-2, so Schwartz will be in motion here. On the pitch, gets a head start, and Steinhurst fouls it back into the screen. So again, we'll go 3-2 here. Again, Schwartz will get a head start. Munoz to the plate. Steinhurst takes, and again, pretty much the exact same as the top half of the first inning. 
Outside of the two ground outs, this one a strikeout and a flyout, but then a single and a walk. And now Jaquez will come to the plate with two on and two away for COC. Chance for the Cougars to try and pick up a run here in the home half of the first. That one in for a called strike. To Hawkins, who's batting 313 with four home runs and 15 RBI this season. Takes a big hack at that one and misses on an off speed pitch. Nothing in two. Hawkins just fights that one off. It's in foul ground. Ball might be playable, but no. Mariano ran into the fence inside the bullpen area. Bullpens are in play here at Mike Gillespie Field. I think Mariano might have slipped on the dirt or home or one of the plates behind uh, the bullpen area where the pitchers throw. Because again, we wait on an 0-2 pinch here to Jaquez. Sun's starting to poke out once again. The more of that we get, the better it'll be here today. But it's expected to be cloudy and rainy throughout the afternoon. As this one lifted in the air towards left field, a lazy fly ball in left center, playable by Mendoza. He'll make the catch. And that will end the inning. So one full in the books. Neither team able to put up a run with two on and two outs in their halves of the first inning. Second inning when we come back here on the Cougar Sports Network. College of the Canyons is always ready when it comes to your athletic future. With 17 intercollegiate sports programs to cheer for, opportunities for student athletes to learn, train, and compete, and a championship mindset that has produced state and national titles, College of the Canyons and the Cougars athletics programs offer a great college experience. Take control of your athletic future at College of the Canyons. Visit canyons.edu slash schedule and cocathletics.com now. Top half of the second we go. Kufnauer, Brosh, and Seja, the hitters. Kufnauer, 143, with an RBI to his credit this season. Swings and misses at that one behind in the count. Nothing in two now. That one bounces down in the dirt. So 
a one two. Kofnauer swings and misses. Cervantes has to pick it up out of the dirt and fire it to first. One away. Second strike out of the ball game for Patron. One down for Broche. 189 hitter. The home run and five RBI. This ball fouled away. Spawn chopped towards short. Almond will scoop it up. Fires to first. Two up, two down here in the second. And Robert Sinja, the DH, will come to the plate. Asia waves badly at that one. Behind in the count, nothing in two here. <laughs> so one ball, two strikes. Two outs here in the first. Asia down on strikes. And that will end the second inning. So a solid inning. Two strikeouts in the inning for Patron as he retires the side in order. No runs, no hits, nobody left. One and a half in the books. COC and Mission College with no score. Bottom half of the second we go, COC and Mission College tied at no score. Cervantes, Story, and Cheryl, the hitters here for the Cougars. Cervantes batting 267 on the year. Swings at the first pinch and fouls it away. Home run and 12 RBI to his credit this season. Neither team able to capitalize with two on and two outs in the first. Quiet second for LA Mission. The Cougars trying to get something going offensively here. 
in their half of the second inning. Cervantes behind in the count, nothing in two. Breaking ball in the dirt for Munoz, makes it one ball and two strikes. Cervantes hits this one in the air towards straightaway center field and deep. That ball will get out to center for a solo home run for Dominic Cervantes. And the Cougars have a one to nothing lead here in the second inning. It looked like just a fly ball off the bat, but had plenty behind it from Cervantes. The solo home run, his second of the season, give him now 13 RBI on the year. And for College of the Canyons, they get another home run, a solo one this year. But this team, a very, very good team when it comes to their power numbers this season. 33 home runs now on the year. They are ninth best in California in terms of home runs. And a lot of them come here at Cougar, or my, at Cougar Field, pardon me. Uh, Old habits die hard, Mike Gillespie field. As it plays very small compared to what the numbers actually are, about three, I think 70, I think are the numbers down the lines and to center, or 370 to center, 30 down the lines, but plays smaller than that. And so a solo home run from Cervantes gives College of the Canyons a one to nothing lead. Is Hudson's story in there now? 231 with two home runs and six RBI this year for Story, batting from the left side. Takes a big hack and misses. Story also no gloves on his hands. That's becoming more and more prevalent now as the years tick on. For a lot of years there in the mid-2000s, everybody wore batting gloves. Before that, you didn't have such thing. You had pretty much everybody in the batting gloves for a long, long period of time. I remember when I was playing in high school, I think I was the only guy that hit without gloves on his hands, but you're starting to see more and more of that come along here in the last maybe five or seven years or so. A lot of more, a lot more NCAA Division I players can be seen doing it, and we see Story here trying as well. Takes a breaking ball for a strike, makes it three and two. Bottom half of the second inning, Cougars with a one to nothing lead off the home run from Cervantes just a few moments ago. As Story waits on a three two, down on strikes, one away. Second strike out of the ball game for Munoz. Here's Andrew Sherrill, 250 with an RBI this year. Sherrill has not had a lot of opportunities on the season, at least early in the year, as it was pretty much Allman at third base with Yeaman at shortstop. But since Yeaman's injury, Sherrill has found himself pressed into service more often. Just his seventh start of the year, only nine hits and 36 at bats on the season. As he waits on an 0-1 from Munoz, hits it in the air, playable in foul ground, now twists back towards fair territory and the play made by Callahan. So he'll pop up on the infield for the second out. <laughs> Two down for Hunter Sang. Playing center field today, just his or it's his uh, six, 17th start of the season, just 11 hits and 60 at bats for a sing. Stands in to face Munoz, swings at the first pitch, lifts it in foul ground up the first base side. And a nice play by Mariano. A little over his shoulder, Willie Mays style catch for the third out of the inning. But the Cougars do get one on a solo home run from Dominic Cervantes. Two full in the books, COC a one nothing lead. When you have an intellectual disability, simple things like getting a job and being part of a team can be tough. But with an organization like Best Buddies by your side, anything's possible. Join our movement. 
You can donate by rounding up your order on the Jersey Mike's app and learn other ways to get involved at bestbuddies.org. So come and support the inclusion of people like me. Go to the top half of the third one to nothing COC. As it will be Noah Nichols, then the top of the order in Men Navarre and Mariano, the scheduled hitters for Mission College. Patron working into the third. has only given up a hit so far and a walk. Struck out three of the last four he's faced. And it's a pretty been pretty solid distribution from him in terms of three strikeouts and three ground balls to short. It's been how he's retired hitters so far today. So Nichols batting 227 with Five RBIs, shows bunt on the first pitch and fouls it away. They're going to say Nichols couldn't hold up on that pitch. Good breaking ball from Patron that bit and found the dirt and fooled Nichols. So no balls, two strikes. Patron set to deliver. Lefty, another breaking ball. That time spikes it in the dirt. That's a called strike. Down the heart of the plate for strike three. Nichols caught looking, one away. Fourth strike out of the ball game for Patron. So here's Men Navarre, grounded a short in his first at bat. Chops this one wide of third. Patron doing a nice job of settling himself in after got the first two guys he faced in the first, gave up a hit and a walk, but has retired five in a row. Good breaking ball that just misses. Two balls and one strike. The count here to Menivar. Grounded to short. As Menivar chops this one towards third. Cheryl collects, fires, two down. So do down, here's Mariano, state leader in home runs this year with 13. 
It's 10th in the state and runs batted in with 38. Has 44 hits on the season, is 25th most in California this year. Slugging 829, which is sixth best. He hits this one down the right field line, hooking it, it'll go foul. Boy, that one looked like it was off his hands and he nearly hit it out of the ballpark and foul ground. Mariano showing his power. Seven of his 13 home runs this season have come in conference play. The freshman out of Valencia High School. This Mission College team has a lot of Santa Clarita kids on it. A lot of guys that all played together in high school on each side. You look for Mission, Callahan, Franquera, Sakata, all from Santa Clarita. Wright Meyer, Nate Thomas. Broche, Taylor, Colado as Mariano works a walk. Patron staying careful with him. Second walk of the day issued by Patron. Right, Gradano as well, Nichols. Rankin as this one hit right back up the box and Patron makes the play for the third out of the inning. Good job by Patron fielding his position. Works around a two out walk at the end of two and a half. It's one to nothing COC. Whether we're on the move or stuck in one place, it's with us. Comforting, healing, and transforming lives. It's the power of you. With four world-class hospitals and over 170 clinics across Southern California, together, we're building a healthier community. We are your neighbors, your friends, your family. It begins with you, UCLA Health. Canyon's half of the third coming up. It'll be Alman, Roca, and Schwartz for COC. Cougars with a one to nothing lead. That's the only run of the ball game so far. Solo home run from Dominic Cervantes. I'm going to strike out in the first. <laughs> Stepping in for COC. Done a nice job to come in and take over at the shortstop position. Twenty-five starts so far this year. Twenty-seven hits for Angelo. Near the team lead in hits. So we said Steinhurst with thirty-three, Schwartz and Hawk is each with thirty-one. Now Schwartz actually with thirty-two, because he had a hit already today. Almond with those 27, five of them doubles. He's only hit two home runs, so only seven extra base hits this year. Strikeout number is a little high for Angelo, 27 of them coming into today, so 28 now. That's been kind of his 
struggle at the plate. She's way ahead here. Three balls and one strike to count. See faces Munoz here for the second time. Righty ready into his wind. Delivers, and it's a leadoff walk here to Allman. So the Cougars with a leadoff base runner for the first time today. Second walk issued by Munoz. Here's Charlie Rocco, flew out to center field his first time up. Again, so you'll see not a, much of a running team. Allman just uh, stolen base on two attempts this year. Roca showing bunt. That ball gets by the catcher, and Allman going to head to second, and he'll just stay put right there. So the Cougars in business here. Roca was just going to sacrifice Allman around, and it gets right by Granados, so it's a pass ball. So now Allman in scoring position here. So now Roca a chance to try and drive one in. Roca takes that pitch up and we'll get a visit now from Mission College pitching coach. So for COC this year. Runners in scoring position with less than two outs. Cougars hitting 292 with runners in scoring position as a group this year. They've advanced runners 44% of the time, 222 times and 505 opportunities. Chance to try and bring home a run here. As Munoz struggling against Roca. Way behind here, three balls and no strikes. Cougars with 76 hits with runners in scoring position this season. It's Allman dancing around at second. Roca waits on the 3-0 and takes a called strike. So big spot here for the Cougars to try and add another. This third inning. Three bites at the apple with a runner in scoring position here. Salman so acts like he's going, but Roca going to work a walk. Allman stays put. And so back-to-back -back walks to open up the third here. Three walks in the ballgame on Munoz. Action in the Mission College bullpen. So it looks like Fabian Pinon out there trying to get loose. As here's Jake Schwartz with a chance to try and move runners around. Fouls the first pitch away, trying to bunt runners around. And again, the Cougars have been able to advance runners about 44% of the time when they've been put in this opportunity in this situation, trying to do it once again here as small ball Part of the game plan for Chris Coda. Schwartz going to show bunt again. This time takes a breaking ball up, as that's a very tough pitch to bunt, and he decides to let it go. Bunting, something that 
kind of has gone away from the game of baseball, sacrificing runners around. You don't see it a lot in the big leagues. You see it a little bit at the lower levels. You don't see it an awful lot in college baseball anymore, although with the B-Core bats, it's changed a touch as it's taken away some of the pop to the bat. But it's not something that's really in the sports game plan anymore as analytics have taken a huge chunk of the game away saying it's better to swing it once and hit it out than it is to walk and bunt guys around and get one run out of it. So but the Cougars have shown their flashes of small ball throughout the year. Still playing a kind of an old school style. Schwartz again going to show bunt. They're going to throw behind Allman, and that one gets out into center field, but Allman going to, Decide to stay put as he was diving back to the bag. One ball and two strikes to count here to Schwartz. So that one was a called strike. So we'll see if Schwartz gets a chance to swing here. Cougars trying to stay out of the double play. They've hit the 22 of them this year. Missions turned 22 of them. Wait on the one, two here to Schwartz. He swings and hits it in the air down the line and left, and it'll land foul, so we'll do it again. So we'll do the one, two again here. Good take from Schwartz that time up and away out of the zone. This one hit down the line. It's a fair ball inside the first base bag. Allman will score. Schwartz heading to second. They'll try and score Roca from first. He will get there. Schwartz into third with a two RBI stand-up triple. And the Cougars have a three to nothing lead. So a 2-2 pinch just inside the first base bag. Schwartz clears the bases and sets himself up in scoring position as the Cougars with another RBI hit. Schwartz brings home two as he's got two hits and as many at bats with a single and a triple today. And the Cougars with a three to nothing lead as here's Steinhurst coming to the plate. Ball just curled inside the first base bag, and it was hit perfectly past a diving Mariano, who made a great effort on it to try and knock it down, just could not. And it rolled all the way down into the right field corner, and that's how much heat Schwartz had on it on the swing, as he absolutely hit it on the screws down the first base line. Steinhurst behind in the count, nothing in two, he waves at an off-speed pitch. The Cougars have... Jumped out to a three nothing lead now with runs in the first or in the second and the third. Oh, some extra base hits. A home run by Cervantes, a two RBI triple from Schwartz as Steinhurst fouls it away. So again, three bites of the apple for COC to try and put up another. As nobody out and a runner at third base. Cougars converting on this 47.427% per, er, of the time for 47.2% of the time. 25 RBIs and 53 opportunities when they have a runner at third base with less than two outs. So 
So we wait on the one two to Schwartz or to Steinhurst. He lifts it in the air towards deep right center field. Nichols back to the wall will make the catch. But Steinhurst does his job. An RBI sacrifice fly for the first out of the inning. And the Cougars have a four to nothing lead here in the third. Steinhurst maybe three feet away from getting that one out into right center field. But he does his job, and here's Evan Jaquez, who flew out to left to end the first inning. Jaquez swings and misses. One ball and one strike to count. For Steinhurst, his 21st RBI of the year. For Schwartz, his two RBIs give him 25 now on the season. As the Cougars convert another runner from third to the plate with less than two outs. That's kind of what they have to do, although like we said it, Mike Gillespie Field here. It's been a launching pad. Ball gets out and in a hurry here often. The Cougars, like we said, one of the teams leading the state in home runs this season with 32. They've given up 30 as a group on the pitching side. Takez fouls it away. Hawkes with five of them. You look, Steinhurst, or four, excuse me, home runs. Steinhurst has five. Schwartz has five. Roca with three. Alma with two. Cougars, of course, without their home run leader in Colin Yeaman. We've talked about that a couple of times today. As Hawkes kind of just waves and pops this one up on the infield. Playable for Mariano will make the catch. Two down. Two away for Cervantes, who had the solo home run back in the second to get the scoring started. Cougars have tacked on three more here in the third. Two balls and no strikes. Cervantes now two home runs and 13 RBIs on the year. Average creeping up towards 300. Takes a big hack at that one and fouls it away. Cervantes missed a little bit of time, was fighting off uh, an injury, but is back in there. And he's done such a phenomenal job behind the plate for COC this year. Has solidified their defense on the catching side. The Cougars have thrown out 35.9% of runners this year, which is ninth in the state. That is well up from last year. They've given up 25 stolen bases, which is 11th most, but they've caught 14 runners, which is 17th best. So that's a, that's a huge stark change to a season ago when the Cougars really got beat a lot by other teams taking advantage on the bases. But Cervantes and the pitching staff have done a much better job at controlling that a little bit this year. Still too many stolen bases against with 25. But as Cervantes hits another one to deep center field, that ball gets out over the center field wall. Cervantes with his second home run of the ball game. And the Cougars have a 5 to nothing lead. I wasn't sure if Nichols got a glove on it. As he crashed into the wall, I was waiting for him to kind of show it off. But it gets out just over the top of his head. Cervantes now with three home runs on the year. He's got two of them today. The Cougars with a 5 to nothing lead.
Here's Story now with two away. Struck out his last time up, takes a called strike. So four run inning for COC, a two RBI triple from Schwartz after walks to Almond and Roca to start the inning off. And then Cervantes, who apparently likes hitting off Alonzo Munoz, back-to-back -back home runs in as many innings for him. Two for two today with two RBIs and two long balls. This is nothing in two here to Hudson Story in the third with two outs. Story hits one on the screws out into right field for a base hit. Solid swing for Hudson Story there as a two-out base runner for College of the Canyons. Story has his first hit of the ball game, and Andrew Sherrill will come to the plate. Sherrill popped out. On the third base side, his last time up. Cougars have sent seven to the plate here in the inning. Cheryl first pitch swinging a one hopper that gets by Broche. And he's on with a base hit. So back to back hits for COC. Now Hunter is saying the ninth man to the plate for the Cougars with two outs and two on. Now Sang first pitch swinging, lifts it in the air out to right center field. Playable for Kaufnauer will make the catch in that in the inning. Cougars send nine to the plate, they get four runs. A two RBI triple from Jake Schwartz. A solo home run from Dominic Cervantes is second of the ball game. Five to nothing COC as we head to the fourth inning here from Mike Gillespie Field.
Two balls and two strikes here to Granados as we work in the fourth inning. So this one chopped up the first base line. Canyon's gonna let it roll foul. Smart play from Patron to make sure that one did get foul and then pick it up as soon as he could. Home and another nice play as this one scooped up by him up the middle as Granados hit it sharply on the ground and Allman made it look pretty easy. One away here in the fourth inning. This ball hit in the air towards deep left center field. That'll get off the wall as Mendoza rounding for second base. A Sang's throw puts Roca off the bag. And it's a double for Mendoza with one out here. It's a good swing from Tommy Mendoza for his first hit of the ball game. Just the second hit issued by Patron. He had retired. Eight of nine before the double. And now Koffenauer will come to the plate who struck out his last time up. So Mission trying to get one back. Cougars have held them scoreless through 13 innings so far, or 12 innings. 12 and a third innings. Can't do math, not my strong suit. So it's five to nothing COC. Off an hour swings and misses, and it's nothing in two. Drawn four strikeouts on the day so far. Could use a punch out here with a runner at second base in less than two outs. The 0-2 to Koffenauer, swung on and missed, down in the dirt. Good job by Cervantes as he made sure to look back Mendoza. So Koffenauer down on strikes on that breaking ball down for the second time today. And then he's retired two to three. Two down, five strikeouts for Patron. Now as we work in the fourth inning, and here's Joseph Broch. Who grounded a short his last time up? Is this one hit on the ground towards short. Diving try by Allman, and he looks like he's hurt. Roca there to pick the ball up. And Allman down. I'm not sure Allman's. Going to get up very quickly here. I'm not sure what he hurt when he dove. So it's a base hit for Broche. Almond looks like he's all right. Good 
who tried to get Mendoza at third. It was a heads-up throw by Roca. Almond. I think when he dove, he kind of whacked his face on the ground. That's what Jasmine says up to, uh, uh, to me here. So that's why he was rolling around, but looks like he's no worse for the wear now. So here's Robert Seja back to the plate. Struck out his last time up. It scored as a hit like we said for Broche. Seja now trying to bring a run home. That one down in the dirt. Runners at the corners, two away. Wasn't a hard hit ball from Broche, but it was gonna be a tough play nonetheless. It was a back up the middle. Allman, who's looked solid so far today through the middle, just couldn't come up with that one cleanly. Good pinch that time from Patron. Swung on and missed by Seja. Two balls and one strike to count. Five to nothing Cougars, four in the third for COC. So stretch the lead out. They won six nothing on Tuesday. Set a complete game six hit shutout from Joseph Chasso. Patron, a lazy move to first just to Make sure Broche doesn't move. Freeze him a little bit here. It's 2 1 delivery to Seja. Hit on the ground. Allman will scoop, flip to second, and that'll end the inning. Good job by the Cougar defense once again. As they help Oscar Patron out, gives up a couple of hits, but no runs. Three and a half in the books, five to nothing, COC. Pitching change for Mission College as we go to the fourth, the home half of the fourth inning. Fabian Pinion coming in to take over. Put in this year, 6.00 ERA, his seventh appearance of the season. He's pitched in six innings, given up nine hits, six runs, four earned. Five walks and four strikeouts on the season. As he'll face Allman, Roca, and Schwartz, the top of the order back up for COC. For Munoz, goes three innings, gives up five runs on six hits, walked three, struck out two. right now is on the hook for the loss. So 
Thalman hits this one in the air down the right field line. That's going to get in for a little base hit. Didn't hit it hard, but hit it right into the right spot. Allman has his first hit of the ball game. And the Cougars with the leadoff base runner once again. Here in this fourth inning, Allman walked and came around to score in the third, and he gets on to start things off here in the fourth as Charlie Roca, who's 0 for 1 with a walk and a run scored, comes to the plate for COC. Roca going to show bunt. That one down in the dirt. Allman going to take off, and the throw not going to be in time. Good read from Allman, ball in the dirt. Granados did a decent job to keep it in front of him, but just could not get the throw off in time, so it's a stolen base for Allman. the 54th stolen base against LA Mission this year. Roca not going to be able to advance Allman on that chopper. He's out by a half a step over at first base. Good play from Callahan. One down here. Schwartz, who tripled and singled, two RBIs today, two hits as well. Those 53 stolen bases against puts them at 60th in the state. So I actually need to look at my numbers better here. The Cougars have done a very good job at keeping stolen bases down. When we talked about it a couple of innings ago at just 30 against, compare that to the 53 against from LA Mission, then it's a much better number. Eagles have thrown out 16 guys this year, which is 10th most, but their RCS percentage is 23.2, which is still pretty good, top 30 in the state, as that went in for a calm strike to Schwartz. One ball, one strike, one out. Runner at second base after the leadoff single from Angelo Allman. Pinnon's pitch down in the dirt. Pinnon, two saves this year for the Eagles. But as we said, only six innings pitched. Posing hitters hitting 346 against him. So this one hit in the air towards straightaway center field. Nichols initially looked like it was going to be a lazy fly ball, but it carried all the way to left center. And Schwartz able to advance the runner to third on the fly ball to center field. Two down. Two away for Steinhurst. No at-bats today. Just two plate appearances, has an RBI. He had a sacrifice fly to bring home Jake Schwartz last inning. Walked in his first plate appearance or first uh, plate appearance today, but no qualified at bats. Takes a called strike. Nothing in one. Facing Pinnon with a run out there at third base. Lifts this one in the air down the right side. And Koffenauer comes in to make the catch, and that'll end the inning. So the Cougars go quietly after the leadoff single. No runs a hit, one left on. Four full in the book, COC, leading 5 nothing.
Nichols, Menavar, and Mariano, the scheduled hitters for Mission College in this fifth inning. Nichols 0 for 1, struck out. Shows bunt here, pushes it up the first base line, and that's a base hit. Right into that no man's land area, Nichols has his first hit of the ball game. That's a perfect push bunt from him. That's the one they teach you to execute. If you can get it by the pitcher's mound and push it right towards where the second baseman is, it's pretty much a guaranteed hit every time, especially if you have speed as Nichols shows there. So leadoff runner aboard for the first time today for Mission LA Mission. Here's Menavar's 0 for 2, grounded out twice. Takes a called strike. Can't execute it any better than that if you're Nichols. As we said, it's a guaranteed hit if you can get it there. As it forces the first baseman and the second baseman to both make a decision. It's too much for the pitcher to try and, especially even with the left-handed pitching Patron, but he's falling off towards the third base side. Schwartz has to come over and pick that one up, or he has to back off back to the bag, and you have to make Roca, who's playing deep, make the play, and even in that case, it's going to be a tough play for him. That ball gets away from Cervantes on a swing and a miss from Menavar. So Mission will push a runner up to second base here. And an 0-2 count. Breaking pitch down from Patron. Two balls and two strikes to count. Spot for Patron. He's five strikeouts here today, and now he's in a tough spot with a runner at second base and nobody out. Heart of the order due up here for Mission now. Menavar waits on the 2-2. Another pitch misses down, so a full count. This ball lined past Cheryl into left field for a base hit. Hawkes charging will hold Nichols at third. Menavar has his first hit of the ball game. And Mission College with runners at the corners and nobody out here in the fifth inning. Trying to make it a big inning here. Mariano will step in. State leader in home runs with 13. That's going to bring Ryan Paramo out of the dugout to talk to Oscar Patron, try and settle him down here in the fifth. Also going to give Canyons a little bit of time to get some action going to the bullpen, I think. As Paramo brings the entire infield in to discuss here what they're going to do with Menavar over at first. Nichols at third if Mission should decide to try and steal a run. Minivar is pretty good on the bases, six for six. Third on the team in stolen bases. Nichols second on the team, seven of seven. Jake Callahan 13 of 14 this year. Leads the team in stolen bases.
could start to Mariano, a called strike. Then Patron follows it with a quick move to first. This one fouled away off to the right. We'll get out of play. The ball's two strikes, nobody out, two on. Fifth inning, five to nothing COC. Mariano is a very dangerous hitter, stands at the plate. It's Patron ready to deliver. Good breaking ball in the dirt. Good job by Cervantes to keep it in front. And a solid tank from Mariano there. Look with a runner at third for Patron. Two wild pitches on the year. So get ready for the one two. This is down on the inside corner. Two balls and two strikes here to Jose Mariano. Trying to add to his 38 RBIs and get mission on the board here. This one hit right back up the box. That'll get a base hit. So mission able to cash in on the leadoff single from Nichols, the passed ball. Mariano drives him home, give him 39 runs batted in on the season. An LA mission on the board. with an RBI hit from Jose Mariano. And now Jake Callahan coming back to the plate, who's singled and lined out. Cougars with some action in the bullpen. Looks like it might be Luke Lemon out there getting loose for COC. Two on, nobody out here. Callahan takes a called strike. Patron laboring through the fifth. He's given up three hits to the three batters he's faced here. Again, Patron misses that one, not even close. Pulled it a little bit. And missed on third base side of home plate. As we said early in the ball game, Patron has shown flashes this year of really being a dominant arm, but then at times has struggled. We see that a little bit here in this ball game on both sides. Five strikeouts in the ball game. Just two walks. Before this fifth inning, it only given up uh, three hits. It scattered three through four innings, but now struggling here, giving up three of LA Mission's six hits here in the inning. So that one bounces in the dirt, gets away from Cervantes. And the wild pitch that time lets Menavar move up to third. So a 3-1 count here to Callahan as he hits this one in the air out towards left center field. That'll get down for a base hit. Mariano headed to third. It's an RBI double from Jake Callahan. An LA mission with runners at the corners now, or runners at second and third now, and still nobody out in the inning as they add another.
So an RBI double from Callahan. It's Mariano moving up to third. Menevar scoring. Chris Cota's head pops out of the dugout, and I think that's the end of the day for Oscar Patron here. As it looks like Luke Lemon will come out and take over. So Luke Lemon comes in to take over. Luke's been the most effective mid reliever for COC this year, a 2.30 ERA. His 12th appearance of the season in 15 and two thirds, he's given up 12 hits, five runs, four earned, seven walks and 17 strikeouts. Four wild pitches against him this year. He comes in with two runners on, both of those responsible for, or Oscar Patron is responsible for. So Luke trying to hold it here. Five to two as Mission has gathered two runs here in this fifth inning. The Cougars have yet to record an out. Lemon throws hard. Solid fastball. He's not had his control here so far against Granados, who's 0 for 1 today, grounded a short. It's a 3-0 count here to Granados. Represents the tying run at the plate here in the fifth. It's a one hopper that gets by Cheryl. One run will score as they'll hold Callahan at third, and Granado sprints up to second base. So Mission gets one more, and they stay with runners at second and third here, and still nobody out. 
Scored a hit for Granados. Eagles with eight hits now. So here's Tommy Mendoza, doubled and struck out. Three run fifth inning here for Mission. As Lamont misses well outside. Again, Luke kind of tugs at that time. Now already the Cougars with action up in the bullpen. John Barr up there getting loose. Two balls and no strikes here to Mendoza. A fielder trying to cash in represents the go-ahead run. Tying run out there at second base here. So far, Luke has not shown flashes of being that effective mid-reliever. Six of seven pitches have missed the strike zone and by a healthy amount. And he's put the go-ahead run at first base. The LA Mission dugout fired up here. Connor Kofnauer was the scheduled hitter, but it looks like LA Mission will pinch hit for him here. And it looks like Luke Lemon's gonna be a Lifted for John Barr. This mission had Joji Sakata up at the plate. And that's going to end it for Lemond here. Faces two batters, gives up a hit, and a walk. And a pitching change once again here for COC. So it'll be John Barr coming in to take over here. Barr. In 11 appearances, pitched in 14 and one third innings. He's given up 13 hits, 12 runs, all of them earned, 13 walks and 17 strikeouts. 
He's 2-1 so far this year with a 7.53 ERA as he'll pitch with the bases loaded. And nobody out here in the fifth. The tying run at second base for LA Mission College in Isaiah Granados with Callahan at third, Mendoza at first. And Mission gonna pinch hit for Kofnauer here as it'll be Joji Sakata to pinch hit. Sakata this year, 316 average. This takes a called strike from Barr. The lefty this year, three home runs, 22 RBIs, 25 hits and 79 at bats. He struck out 21 times, walked 11 times. As Barr's pitch blocked by Cervantes popped well up in the air, but stayed right near the plate. Cervantes working hard back there. Able to keep the runners in their spots. For Barr this year, just one wild pitch. Sun's starting to peek out here as Barr sit at the belt. Sakata waits on the 1-1 offering. That one misses outside. This is chock full of Eagles here in the fifth. Already three runs across. This one hit on the ground. Schwartz will come to the plate and cuts down the run. That's the only out the Cougars will get, but they take it. So Sakata grounds into a fielder's choice. Callahan cut down at the plate, three to two. For the first down of the inning. And Joseph Brosh comes to the plate, singled and Grounded to short. Double play now in order for COC here. It's Barr trying to keep it at a five to three lead. That delivery on the outer half for a called strike. Granados at third, Mendoza at second. Sakata at first. Brosh takes a breaking ball for a called strike. It's nothing in two. Another solid off speed pitch from Barr that just misses down. Back with a fastball that's fouled away. Keeps it one and two. One, two, breaking ball from Barr. Called strike three. Brosh frozen on it. First strikeout for Barr. Two down. Here's Robert Seja. And they're actually going to pinch hit for him. This is actually Ruben Lira here to pinch hit. This bar misses away. Ninth man to the plate here for Mission. In 
Brandon Lira. 295 hitter with three RBIs this year. Interesting to go with a lefty to face the lefty in bar. Mission trying to tie the game right here at the very least. Base hit would likely do it. Bar behind in the count 2 0 here to Lira. Make it three balls and no strikes. With Noah Nichols waiting in the on-deck circle. He started it all off with that push punt single. One right down the heart of the plate for a called strike. Might have been up, but. Lyra very patient, waiting for the pitch that he can drive. Now LA Mission, Robert Marcel gonna call a timeout and bring everybody off the bases here. You don't see this very often. charged a, a visit here. Three balls and one strike to count. It's the three one to Lira and misses and it's a RBI walk and it's a one run ball game. As LA Mission is hit around here in the fifth. So everybody moves up 90 feet. And back around is Noah Nichols, who bunted to start the inning off. Came around to score. Big hack from Nichols, misses. is still loaded, two away. Barr trying to keep it a 1-1 one -one lead now for COC. Strike away from getting out of the inning. And he gets Nichols down on strikes. Four runs across for LA Mission College in that fifth inning. We go to the home half of the fifth. It's five to four COC.
So we go to the fifth inning for COC, 5-4 to four Cougar lead. Oscar Patron's book is closed, a no decision for him. Luke, Lamont, Luke Lemon actually in line for the win now, thanks to John Barr getting that hold. For Patron, four plus, gives up seven hits, three runs, all of them earned, two walks and five strikeouts. Luke Lamondi didn't record an out, gave up a hit and a walk and a run. And John Barr came and got the final three outs of the inning. As it's Jaquez, Cervantes, and Story here. And all of a sudden, what was a 5 nothing ball game, now a one-run ball game. Two balls and one strength to count to Jaquez. 0 for 2 today. Flew out and popped out. Count is even at 2 and 2. This one softly hit out towards left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Mendoza was very deep out and left. And Jaquez has his first hit of the ball game. A soft single. The Cougars will lead off base runner here. There's Dominic Cervantes, two for two today with a pair of home runs, both solo home runs, both to center field. Keep Jaquez close a couple of times, make sure he stays put. Cervantes, both his home runs came off Alonzo Munoz. Mason Pinion for the first time today here. Shows bunt, takes it back. This one hit on the right side. That'll get through for a base hit. Jaquez stays put. So runners at first and second here for COC. As Cervantes has his third hit of the ball game. This time not an extra base hit, just a single. So here comes Hudson Story, who's one for two with a single and a strikeout. Something interesting we just noticed up here. Chris Cota actually not up the third base line. I think the first time we've ever seen this, actually Ryan Paramo out there coaching third here. Cota in the dugout. Calling signals. The story fails to bunt the first pitch. We're just trying to change something up here after that four-run inning. Good take from Story that time. Two on and nobody on here for COC. Trying to get some runs back after a four-run top half of the fifth from LA Mission, and Story gets it to two balls and one strike. Yeah. 
Pinnon, very deliberate. Comes to the plate, Story. The big cut, swings and misses, makes it two and two. Mission does have some action going in the bullpen as well. Not sure who it is, can't see a number from way out here. As we go, two balls and two strikes to Story. That one down in the dirt actually hits the home plate umpire as it got by Granados. And so the Cougars will put runners at second and third now. On a wild pitch from Pinnon. Would have gotten all the way back to the screen if not for the home plate umpire being there. And now Story in a 3-2 count with nobody out. The Cougars trying to find the offense here. They're giving up four runs in the fifth, trying to find some runs of their own here in the fifth. Called strike three, story down on strikes. One away, first strikeout for Pinnum. And now Andrew Sherrill, who's one for two with a single and a pop out, coming to the plate. Sherrill singled back in the third. Here's with two more bites at the apple to try and get a couple of runs here. Three opportunities, one of them gone. Two runners out in scoring position. Cheryl hits this one end to center field and deep, heading back, Nichols, he just has to watch it leave. Andrew Cheryl with a three-run home run, the first of the season for him. And the Cougars have added back to their lead to make it eight to four. A three-run home run from Andrew Sherrill, the first of his Cougar career. And COC back up eight to four. First pitch swinging, Hunter Sang fouls it away. So Hawk has a leadoff single, Cervantes a single. Story struck out, but Sherrill takes it Deep to center field. Third home run of the ball game for College of the Canyons. And just when LA Mission got themselves back into it, the Cougars extend the lead back out. Sang hits this one on the ground in the left side. That'll get out for a base hit. Callahan and Brosh just had to watch it go. Cheryl has, or excuse me, Sang has his first hit of the ball game. Just one away here in the fifth inning, and that likely going to bring a pitching change here for LA Mission. Cheryl's ball caught out in a hurry. Nichols gave it a look. It wasn't like the second Cervantes home run that was more of a wall scraper. Both Cervantes home runs uh, were high fly balls out to center field that left that Nichols had an actual shot at that one. Cheryl put so much behind it that Nichols gave it a look but really didn't have a chance at it, and that'll bring the pitching change here for L.A. Mission. So Pinnon lifted. Went an inning in a third. He's given up five hits, three runs so far, responsible for the runner out there. We'll have the pitching change in just a second.
So Travis Enbody, the pitcher to take over here for LA Mission. Enbody this season, seven appearances, has an ERA of six in nine innings, has given up 12 hits, six runs. All of them earned, walked nine, struck out four. Opposing hitters hitting 480 against him this season. He'll come in to take over and face the top of the COC order. Almond, Roca, and Schwartz all do up here with one away. And Hunter is saying, sitting out at first base. Allman, a single, a walk, and a strikeout, a run scored. Stole a base as well. First thing for Menbody. Checks on Hunter Singh. Who is six for six on the bases this year for COC. Leads the team in the stolen bases. One ball, one strike here to Angel Allman. Cougars with three runs across in the inning off the three-run home run from Andrew Sherrill. And Mahdi again checking on a saying here. Sang in motion that time, and he has that bag swiped rather easily. Seventh stolen base of the year for Hunter Sang. Everyone in the COC lineup has reached base today. Only Jaden Steinhurst without a hit, but has contributed, had an RBI sacrifice fly ball in the third. And now with one out, a runner at second base, Allman with a chance to try and add one more for COC way ahead here. Three balls and one strike. One lifted down the line, foul. So we'll wait on a 3-2 here to Allman. This one lifted in the air, shallow right field. Menavar backing up will make the catch. Two away. And actually, Charlie Roca without a hit as well. Steinhurst and Roca both with walks, but they have both reached. Roca 0 for 2, grounded a short and flew out, and has been hit in the back. So for first pitch he sees, gets hit right in the hind parts, puts runners on first and second here for Jake Schwartz, who's 2 for 3 with 2 RBI. A single and a triple in the ball game today. So lefty steps in with two runners out there and two outs. First pitch from Enbody lifted in the air out towards left center field. Playable for the left fielder Mendoza who makes the catch and that'll end the inning. But the Cougars do their damage. A three-run home run from Andrew Sherrill. We go to the sixth inning. It's 8-4 to four COC.
Second pitch to Menavar here in the sixth inning as a base hit out to center field off John Barr. Menavar has his second hit, hit in his many at bats. It's two for four now in the ball game. And here's Jose Mariano. One for two of the walk. And again, a guy that's very dangerous can certainly change the complexion of a game with one swing of the bat. State leader in home runs with 13 coming into the day. Barnes. First action here will be to pick to first. Men of our back easily. Two pinches to Mariano, both miss away. Mariano on Tuesday had just one hit. In four at bats, Cougars kept him quiet. One hit and three plate appearances so far today as he fouls that one away. Took a big cut on 2-0. and oh. Breaking ball from Barr misses away. So three ball, one strike count here. Another big cut from Mariano. Good breaking pitch from Barr. Mariano down on strikes. One away. Second strikeout for third strikeout for Barr here in the ball game since coming in in relief. Here's Callahan, two for three. Hit the ball hard all three times. Is only. Out, he lined back to Oscar Patron. Breaking ball that just misses inside. Actually got Callahan to jump backwards before it broke back towards the plate. See if Barr uses that to his advantage here after the first pitch. Callahan's average ticking up just a bit from 304. Takes a called strike as Barr comes with a fastball that time on the outer half and has him frozen. One ball, one strike. One away here in the sixth inning. Eight to four COC. Eight runs on 11 hits for College of the Canyons. Four runs on nine hits for LA Mission College. Neither team has committed an error so far in the ball game. Cougars with one in the second, four in the third, three in the fifth. Mission with all four of their runs coming in the fifth inning. Cougars trying to get a game above 500 in WSC South play. That's a good pitch from Barr that he doesn't get the call on. Make the count three and one here. K 
Canyons, five and five in Western State Conference South Division play this year. Her game ahead of LA Mission, who's four and six. Cougars trying to get back within a game of 500 as well, sitting at 13 and 15. As Barr issues a walk to Callahan. Second walk issued by Barr. So now Barr facing Granados after issuing his second walk. Two runners out there as it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Runner in motion, and that's a ball that's going to get back to the screen. Cervantes was getting up to maybe try and throw the runner out at third. Instead, it gets by him. It would have been a stolen base regardless, I think. Menavar had such a good jump. So now Barr working with some trouble here. Two out there in scoring position, just one away. Two balls and two strikes to count here to Granados. Big spot for Barr here with two out there in scoring position. Strikeout goes a long way and he gets it. That's a good pitcher's pitch. A high fastball in the zone, or just in the zone, that Granados can't quite catch up to. Two away, fourth strikeout for Barr since coming in. Here's Tommy Mendoza with two on and two out. Breaking ball from Barr in for a strike. Mendoza, a double a walk and a strikeout. One ball and one strike to count. At this point for COC, Patron, book closed on him. He's got a no decision, didn't get out of the fifth inning. John Barr actually in line for the win, I think, if you, you look at it. It could be Luke Lemon, it could be John Barr. Lemon, though, only faced two batters, was ineffective, didn't get an out. Barr has since come in. Got a little bit of help from the COC offense in the last half inning. Lemon gave up a run after facing two batters, gave up a single and a walk. Barr allowed that one of those runs to come in. And it's an, an not very well-known clause in the official's rule book for baseball that if the official scorer deems a, pitcher brief, a pitcher's appearance brief and ineffective as Barr strikes out his fifth batter as he gets Mendoza waving. Strands two runners out there at the end of five and a half. It's eight to four COC. We'll finish that thought when we come back.
Steinhurst, Takez, and Cervantes here in the sixth inning for COC. Steinhurst, one of two Cougars without a hit so far in the ballgame. We were saying in the last inning, it's a, it's a judgment call at this point whether you say Luke Lemon is in line for the win or if it's instead John Barr, as there's a not often used clause in the rule book that says a pitcher can be deemed ineligible for the win if the score deems their appearance brief and ineffective, which I would say qualifies in this instance for Luke Lemon as he went, faced two hitters, gave up a hit and a walk. Cougars were in the lead at that point as Steinhurst down on strikes. So, and Body has his first strike out of the ball game. One down for Jaquez. Singled, popped out, and flew out. First pitch misses down. So you could actually say that John Barr, because of the fact that Patron didn't get out of the fourth, Barr's the man actually potentially in line for the win. As Jaquez gives this one a ride to left field, but not enough to get out. It just holds up enough for Mendoza to catch it in front of the wall. Maybe just a touch off of the end of the bat for Jaquez. Two away. So two down for Cervantes, who's three for three. Two RBIs, two home runs, three runs scored. Cervantes has been very active today. He's been active behind the plate, been active at the plate. Facing end body, and he hits that one off the end of the bat. It's behind the count, nothing in two. Enbody works a clean inning. Strikes out Steinhurst and Cervantes. We go to the seventh inning, COC, with an 8-4 to four lead. Here from Mike Gillespie Field. Sakata Broche and the eighth spot do up. Formation, Sakata first pitch swinging. As he faces Barr here in the seventh. Sakata grounded into a fielder's choice in his only at bat today. Took over in right field, came in to hit in the fifth, that four run fifth inning for LA Mission. This is 
This one hit on the ground towards Roka at second base. Scoops and fires for the first down. One way for Broch. They'll actually pinch it for him here. It's Adrian Santiago hitting for Broche. Santiago, a 125 hitter on the year. Two hits and 16 at bats for him on the season. Had two balls and one strike. Spar's fastball misses down, three and one. Barr has been kind of all over the map a little bit. A couple of walks, five strikeouts. Make it three walks now. And it's one of those situations where effective one batter, ineffective the next, but has done what he has needed to do to get out of trouble. Issues his third walk. Now Lyra comes back. He took over in the fifth inning and walked his last time up facing Barr. Swings through a fastball elevated in the zone. There are swings and misses, nothing in two. Good pitch from Barr, breaking pitch for another strikeout. Six now on the game for Barr. Two away. Here's Nichols now, one for three. Couple of strikeouts and a base hit. Shows bunt, and it's a strike against him. Struck out when he faced Barr to end the fifth. Started that fifth inning off with that push bunt single. And it's looking like he might try and do the same here on that first pitch. With Schwartz holding on the runner at first. Santiago. One ball, one strike to count here. Canyons with an eight to four lead over LA Mission. Nichols again trying to bunt, and that time bunts it foul, so he's down to two strikes here. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Top of the seventh. Mission with all four of their runs in the fifth inning. Cougars have blanked them otherwise. This bar has been very effective since coming into relief and holding the score where it's at. He strikes out Nichols for the second time. Seven strikeouts for John Barr in relief. Stretch time here from Mike Gillespie Field. The Cougars leading eight to four.
Home half of the seventh, Story, Cheryl, and Asang, the scheduled hitters. Zenbani still in there working for LA Mission. Story takes a called strike. Story one for three with a pair of strikeouts and a single. Takes a called strike and it's nothing in two. And Bonnie, since coming in, it's only allowed one base runner. He hit Charlie Roca last inning. That one looked like strike three, but just missed up. He's retired five of six that he's faced. The pair of strikeouts. As he gets Story on strikes. One away, third strike out of the day against Hudson Story. Third strike out of the day for Enbody. One down for Andrew Sherrill. Three run home run his last time up. Couple of hits today and three at bats. Nearly takes that one off the dome. Had to duck out underneath it. Cheryl, that three-run home run extended the Canyon's lead. It was five to four after Mission had four runs in that fifth inning, and the Cougars got three of them back for Cheryl, his first career home run as a Cougar. And just his second, third, and fourth RBIs of the season. And has many opportunities, hits here, and hits this one on a line out to left. That'll get down for a base hit, past Mendoza to the wall. Cheryl gonna try and lug around for second base, and he's in with a stand-up double. Andrew, not the fleetest of foot, but made that one look easy as he doubles out to left field. And the Cougars are the runner in scoring position for Hunter Sang. And now a discussion between Marcial and the field umpire. I'm not sure what the question was about. Nonetheless, it's a double for Cheryl, and here's Hunter saying one for three. So this one lifted in the air on the infield, playable for Menevar will make the catch two away. Two down as we go back to the top of the order and Allman coming to the plate. One out double from Cheryl has him standing out at second base. The second base runner against Enbody after he came in in the fifth. Pitch to Allman a strike. Allman a single and three at bats. Popped out, struck out, walked, and scored. It's a stolen base as well and has been very good at shortstop today. It's been 
Very active out there at Shorts, made a few nice plays. Trying to bring Cheryl around to give the Cougars a little bit more clearance here in the seventh inning. I want a breaking ball for a strike. Good breaking ball from Enbody. <laughs> so one ball, two strikes, two away here in the seventh. This one hit on the ground towards the shortstop. They'll go to third and get Cheryl for the final out of the inning. So no runs off a hit. One left on. Seven full in the books. COC with an 8-4 to four lead. Top of the order for LA Mission College here in the eighth. Metavar Mariano and Callahan to face Barr, who stays in to continue working. Worked an up and down sixth, then an up and down seventh after coming in in the fifth. Menavar hits this one out in the left field. That's a base hit. Lead off runner aboard for LA Mission here. Menavar, his third hit of the ball game. Jose Mariano, who struck out last time he faced Barr, steps in. Double barrel action of the bullpen for COC. Harish Balakondron and Darren Davis are the men out there. And fouled into the trees. Off to the right. One ball and one strike. Good pitch from Barr again. Mariano mad at himself after that one. It was an elevated fastball beat him. One ball, two strikes. Menavar in motion here on the pitch. Cervantes throw to second base, not going to be in time. Menavar had a really good jump off bar. He's got a stolen base. 
second of the ball game for him. Two balls and two strikes to count. This ball hit out in the left center field. That'll get down for a base hit. They're going to wave Menevar. As Sang's throw, not going to hit the cutoff man. And Mariano going to move up to second base. So it's an RBI single for Mariano. Menevar comes around to score. And then the throw from As Sang didn't hit the cutoff man. Second RBI of the ball game for Mariano. Second hit for him as well. And Mission now back within three. Here in the eighth inning. Here's Callahan, two for three. Trying to trade places here with Mariano. Get LA Mission back within two once again. First run of the ball game issued by Barr. Starting to drizzle again. Could pinch that time to Callahan. This one a little bit heavier on the rain front. Some umbrellas coming out. We've had it on and off. It's supposed to get a little heavier today as the day moves on into the evening and into tomorrow. Expected to be a decent rainstorm. We've had a lot of them here over the last month. As Callahan has a little inside out single to left field. Mariano held it third. And it's runners on the corners for mission here in the eighth inning. So back to back to back singles off bar here in the eighth. And I think that's going to end his day. Looks like Darren Davis out of the bullpen. So Barr, who was very good now, going to come out as the tying run at the plate. Darren Davis coming in to take over when we come back.
So a pitching change, Darren Davis coming in and a pinch hitter coming in to face him. As they'll lift Granados for Devin LeClaire. He's hitting 138 on the season facing Davis here with runners on the corners. Runner in motion and LeClaire fouls the first pitch away. Callahan can run. We've talked about his prowess on the bases. 13 of 14 on the season. They had a little run and hit it looked like in there for Callahan. LeClaire coming off the bench, swinging at the first pitch. Get you Davis's numbers in a second, trying to catch up here. Davis, an ERA of 11 in five appearances, nine innings pitched, 13 hits, 11 runs, all of them earned, three walks and six strikeouts. He's gonna have a wild pitch to his credit this season as we check with the runner at third base. And Mariano, Callahan over at first. One ball, one strike, nobody out here in the eighth inning. John Barr on the hook for both those runs out there. Tying run at the plate here in LeClaire. Callahan in motion. Cougars catch a break. So that one hit the home plate umpire. Callahan has a stolen base. But Mariano has to stay at third. Make it 14 of 15 on the year for Jake Callahan. Now two runners out there in scoring position with nobody out for LA Mission. Mendoza and then Sakata waiting. Davis is 3-1, offered at and missed by LeClaire. Three two to LeClaire, fouled away. Three two offering hit on the ground. Roca will scoop and get the only out available at first. It's an RBI ground ball for LeClaire. And LA Mission back within two. So one away. RBI ground ball for LeClaire. Now Mendoza with a runner at third, represents the tying run at the plate. Which is a called strike to Mendoza. Mission at this point could get Munoz off the hook. He's the pitcher of record right now. Barr, the pitcher of record for COC. This one hit past Allman, out into center field for a base hit. Mendoza has an RBI single, and it's a one-run ball game here in the eighth. There's 
Junji Sakata now coming in. Sakata grounded into a fielder's choice and grounded a second. 0 for 2 since taking over. Swings at a fastball and misses. Just one away here in the inning. Mission back within one. Eight to seven now. Sakata representing the go-ahead run. The tying run aboard with Mendoza at first base. Mendoza, that was his second hit of the ball game. It's a single, single and a double today. So this ball popped up. Third base side, it'll get out of play. So two balls, two strikes here to Sakata. Canyons clinging now to a one-run lead once again. Davis is pinching the dirt. You don't want to put the go-ahead run aboard. With less than two outs here. This one hit on the ground up the first base line. It's a foul ball. Hmm. Mission dugout not happy about it. Sakata again waiting on a 3-2. Mendoza in motion. Sakata down on strikes. Mendoza caught in a rundown. And that'll end the inning. That's a huge strike him out, throw him out, double play for COC. As it keeps it a one-run ball game. Sakata down on strikes. Mendoza in motion on the play. And Cervantes with a great throw. Mendoza would have been out by a long, long way. And he's caught stealing for the third out of the inning. Davis gets credited with a strikeout. It's a strike him out, throw him out, double play to end the inning. We go to the top, uh, the bottom half of the eighth inning. COC with an eight to seven lead. Roka, Schwartz, and Steinhurst, the scheduled hitters for COC. Looks 
Claire stays in there behind the plate. As it's still Enbody in there pitching. As we continue on in the eighth inning, Clown's starting to roll in even more. 55 degrees outside right now. There's only 59 at first pitch. So it hasn't dropped too much, but still cold nonetheless. Two balls and no strikes here to Roca, who's without a hit today. He's reached twice, been hit by a pitch, and walked. Roca and Steinhurst, the only two Cougars without a hit today. Three balls and no strikes. Canyons likes to go with Jake Schwartz as the closer, but he's due up here in the inning second, so not sure he's going to get a chance to loosen himself up in one run ball game. As Roka takes a 3 0 fastball for a strike. So we'll see what College of the Canyons decides to do in that instance if they stay with Darren Davis in a one run ball game. They had Harish Balakondra on up getting loose as well. Roca works his second walk of the ball game. Third time he's been aboard today by a free pass in one way or another, although a hit by pitch not necessarily a free pass considering you do have to take a little damage for it. So here's Jake Schwartz, two for four. Had a two RBI triple back in the third. singled back in the first, but has flown out the last two times he's come to the plate. He's showing bunt as Canyons may be trying to move Roca into scoring position. Pickoff attempt from Enbody pulled Mariano off the bag, and Mariano had to make a good play to save it from going out into the bullpen. That would have done the job for COC advancing Roca. Timeout on the field as the ball came from the bullpen down towards the Backstop, mission with a body up in the bullpen getting loose. Can't tell who it is, unfortunately. Schwartz lifts this one back towards the bullpen foul. As this one does get into the bullpen, and now Roca going to advance. He's got a chance to go to third here. And he will easily as they get the ball back in. And that's where the extra room in the field makes a difference here at Mike Gillespie Field in the bullpen areas. As Enbody's pickoff attempt went back into the bullpen, Mariano and Sakata trying to sprint over there to get it. And now the Cougars with a run just 90 feet away in Aroka. So they get a free advance that time without having to trade an out. And now can trade an out for a run. As the infield comes in for LA Mission, that pitch misses up. So the Eagles with the infield in to try and cut down the run at the plate. But you don't want to give that run up going into the ninth and what is now a one-run ball game at eight to seven in favor of COC. Schwartz waits, lifts this one in the air out towards left center field. That should get the job done, and it will. Roca gonna come in to score, so the errant throw on the pickoff attempt from Enbody results in a COC run on a Jake Schwartz sacrifice fly ball. So the Roka walk, the errant pickoff attempt, and the sacrifice fly drives in the run, and here's Steinhurst. So the two-base error hurts LA Mission. 
It's the first error of the ball game. It's been a clean game otherwise. Steinhurst fouls the first pitch away. But in for a called strike. No balls and two strikes here. See if Schwartz gets loose now. If the Cougars are going to stay with Davis. Steinhurst down on strikes. Second time today, Steinhurst is struck out at the hands of Enbody. Two down. Fourth strikeout for Enbody, and here's Evan Hawkes. Singled, flown out twice, and popped out on the infield. And a pitching change coming for Mission here. As they'll give the ball away. Enbody came in and did a pretty solid job. Just the one run, and that was off the two-base error and the sacrifice fly ball. Pitching change here for LA Mission. We'll have it for you in just a second. So it'll be Michael Taylor to face Evan Hawkes here. Taylor, an ERA of 10.64, nine appearances on the season, 33 innings pitched, has given up 43 hits, 40 runs. 39 of those earned with 34 walks and 39 strikeouts. Opposing hitters hitting 355 against him. So he'll face Hawkes, who has a lone single in four at bats. Two flyouts to left and a pop out back of first base in foul territory or scratch that just a pop out to first base. Last time up for Hawkes gave one a ride out to left field, but missed a home run by a few feet as Mendoza was able to make the play out and left. This one fouled straight back into the booth. One one pitch to Hawkes misses. Schwartz now up there getting loose. We're likely to see him here in the ninth. Three and one here to Hawkes. Canyons with a two run lead, nine to seven. Little insurance run here in the eighth, and Hawkes walks and reaches with two away. Yeah. 
So Taylor walks the first man he faces. And now Dominic Cervantes, is two, who's three for four with a couple of home runs today, has had a heck of a game at the plate, steps in, takes the first pitch for a strike. Cervantes got the scoring started back in the second with a solo home run to center field. And the third came up against Munoz and hit it to the exact same spot. Had a single and scored in the fifth. It's been all over the bases today. Behind of the count, nothing in two. And oh, by the way, he's done a pretty good job behind the plate. Big strike him out, throw him out, double play to end last inning for LA Mission. Hitting with two strikes right now as Hawkins leads away from first. Taylor's pitch misses up. One and two here to Cervantes. That one down to the dirt, good pick from LeClaire. Keeps Hawkins at first base. That one misses outside, so from 0-2 to a full count, Jaquez will get a head start here on a 3-2 pitch. And Taylor decides to try and pick off to first. Mariano wasn't there holding the runner on. So Hake is going to move up to third base. Another errant pickoff play by LA Mission College. And now the Cougars with a runner 90 feet away and a 3-2 pitch here. Second pickoff error. That one, Taylor stepped off and fired it with confidence. And Mariano just looked at him like, what are you doing? Mariano had moved back behind the bag. That's just a miscommunication between the pitcher and the first baseman, really. Didn't directly affect anything at this point as Cervantes walks. Back-to-back -back walks issued by Taylor. And now Hudson Story comes to the plate. We'll see if Chris Cotto de decides to try and put anything on. Hawkes runs very well. Cervantes not known to run as a catcher. But I wouldn't be shocked to see Cotto put something on here to try and steal a run. Let's we'll see what LA Mission does here on the first and third defense. Story today, one hit. Three strikeouts and four at bats. Breaking ball just misses. Hitters count here for Story. Two balls and no strikes. That one goes back to the screen. Hawke is going to try and score, and he will. So some insurance for COC on the wild pitch from Taylor. The seventh of the season from Taylor. Canyons gets another here in the inning. So 3-0 here to Hudson Story. Taylor, a little inside move that time. Cervantes was caught, but nobody was moving for LA Mission, so. Cervantes stays put at second base. Is Story gonna work a walk? 
Taylor issues back-to-back -back walks, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back walks, actually. Cougars without a hit here in the inning. Four walks in the inning. They've put two runs across. Roca started it off with a walk. Taylor... Out of the game and had some words for the coaching staff was unhappy and it's a pitching change here for LA Mission. We'll have it for you in a second. So it'll be Francisco Agrigadano coming in to take over. Seven appearances for him on the year. He's only pitched eight innings, given up 13 hits, 10 runs, all of them earned, four walks and eight strikeouts, an ERA of 11.25. So try and get the final out here of the eighth inning. The Cougars with two runs across. And just like in the fourth, or in the fifth, when LA Mission got four to get back within a run, Cougars come back and answer with runs of their own here in the eighth. Mission had three in the eighth. The Cougars with two so far here in the eighth. And now Andrew Sherrill, who had a big three-run home run. A pinch runner here for Hunts and Story as well. As Alex Friend will come in to run. That ball gets through LeClaire, and everybody kind of hesitated for a second. Didn't quite get by LeClaire enough to make it safe for Cervantes to go on second reaction. He's not going right away. There's no point in running into that third out at third here. Let Cheryl try and bring you home. One ball and no strikes to count here to Andrew Cheryl. Zach Rodano steps to the plate, and that one bounces in the dirt. That one gets away from LeClaire, and every gonna everybody going to move up 90 feet. That was a much better read that time from Cervantes. And for Friend, a great job just to know the situation and know that that ball in the dirt, Take a look at the runner in front of you. Cervantes goes, so you go with them. And now Cheryl has a chance to drive in two more and give the Cougars even more insurance with two outs. That one misses away. Cougars have not had a hit here in the eighth inning. Roca walked, scored after the error by Enbody on the pickoff play. Got him to third, and Schwartz brought him home on a sacrifice fly. Then Hawkins walked, moved to third on the same thing, this time an error by Taylor, and then scored on the Taylor Wild pitch. Then Cervantes walked and Story walked. Friend came into pinch run for Story. Cheryl takes a 3-0 fastball down the heart of the plate for a strike. Man, I, I thought it was a strike, it was a ball. Okay, well. I think that fooled everybody, including the LA Mission dugout. They thought it was a strike. Agredano thought it was a strike. It's a walk for Andrew Sherrill, and Hunter Singh comes to the plate with the bases loaded. Five walks in the inning. And another pitch that can't find the zone. Agredano this year, one wild pitch to his record. And 
now an argument here between Marisol and the home plate umpire. This isn't the first time they've been at it today. Some heated words. Still barking at one another. That one misses away. That one in for a called strike, makes it two and one. Bases loaded full of Cougars here in the eighth. Pitch misses away. Canyons with two runs off no hits in the inning. Couple of errors on mission. Cougars 10 runs on 13 hits in the ball game. That's wrong. It's 10 runs on 11 hits. Make it 12 hits, actually. It's a 3-2 count, so the runners will get in motion. As Sang hits this one on the ground, up the middle of base hit. One run will score. Friend going to come home. Hunter is saying a two RBI single, and the Cougars have even more breathing room. Their 13th hit of the ball game there, a two RBI hit from Hunter is saying. His second hit of the day. Hit it right up the middle. The Cougars add a couple of more. Cervantes scores, Friend scores. Allman comes to the plate now. Singled, walked, reached on a fielder's choice, but that was the end of the seventh inning. Popped out and struck out, takes a call and strike. Two away here. Is this one hit on the ground towards third. Diving stop from Santiago, but he fell down. Slipped and fell as he tried to get up. And the Cougars catch a break. Almond on with a fielder's choice, and the base is loaded once again. And here comes Charlie Roca as the Cougars have hit around. Roca started the inning off with a walk. One of two Cougars without a hit today. But he's reached three times, been hit by a pitch and walked. This one a wild pitch back to the screen. Cheryl scores. And the wheels have fallen off here in the eighth inning for LA Mission. Five across for COC. It's a six-run Cougar lead now, and that changes who you bring out for the ninth, I think, if you're the Cougars. Roka takes a called strike, makes it one and one. Cougars five runs on just one hit. A couple of wild pitches, a couple of errors. Two more out there for Charlie Roka here as he swings and fouls this one off to the right. One and two. Called strike three. That'll end the inning, but the Cougars do get a bunch. They get five. We go to the ninth, COC. 13 to seven the lead.
So Jake Schwartz will come in to pitch here in the ninth for COC for Schwartz. Fourth appearance of the season, 5.40 ERA. In three and a third innings, has given up six hits, two runs, both of them earned, walked three and struck out three. It's the first pitch hit on the ground towards Cheryl, fires to first, tag there as Santiago out. One pitch, one away here in the ninth. It's Frankie Malagon in there to play first base now for COC. Schwartz's last appearance was his only loss of the season. Blew the save. So this one hit on the left side, twisting foul. Schwartz against East LA went an inning and a third, gave up five hits and two runs. So he said, blew the save and picked up the loss. Slera back to the plate on a one two count. For Davis, went an inning. Gave up a hit, but no runs. Struck out one, walked nobody. So the one-two pitch misses down. So longer save situation for Schwartz, but since he came in and warmed up, a chance for him to get some work here. So that one misses. And it's a full count here to Lyra. Nichols waiting in the on-deck circle, or Nichols spot waiting in the on-deck circle. Slayer hits this one on the ground towards Roca. One big hop right to him. He catches it and fires to first. Two away. Two down and a pitch hitter. It's Adrian Jaime coming in to hit. 295 hitter on the season. So he'll face Schwartz here in the ninth. Mission down to their final out. This one hit down the line and left. Just foul. So one ball, one strike here to Jaime. This one hit on the ground towards Allman. It's short. He'll scoop, fire, and that's the ball game. COC with five in the eighth, and they pick up the 13-7 to lead as Schwartz works a clean ninth. The Cougars get to six and five on WSC South play. For College of the Canyons, 13 runs on 13 hits, no errors, and 10 left on base. For LA Mission, seven runs on 13 hits, two errors, and they left 11 on base. For COC, John Barr gets the win. As we said, Barr comes in after an ineffective outing from Lemon. 
does his job, goes three plus innings, gives up three runs, struck out seven, and four hits. Lemon doesn't get credit. He gets credit for an appearance and nothing else, we'll say, because it was an ineffective outing. So for Barr, he goes to three and one. For LA Mission, Munoz gets the loss and goes to 0 and 3. For the Cougars, they get their 14th win of the year in a four hour ball game, or a three hour and 30 minute ball game, excuse me. As they pick up the win, improve to 6 and 5 in WSC South play, and keep themselves in contention for second in conference play, trying to get back to 500. That'll do it for us here on this one. We thank you for joining us, as always, on the Cougar Sports Network. We hope you enjoyed. We hope to see you next week as we've got more softball and baseball on the schedule coming up next week here from College of the Canyons. Have a good rest of your Thursday, everybody, and enjoy your upcoming weekend.